This video is on Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Many of us have read stories about people with strange abilities, or even superpowers, with happy endings where our hero defeats the villain. Well, if you're looking for another story like that, then this book is not for you. This book holds secrets about peculiar people around the world, along with the horrid creatures who seek out these peculiar beings and our hero has no idea what he is getting into. Our hero is named Jacob, and he would never call himself a hero. He is a newly turned 15-year-old who believed his life to be ordinary, but this year led to a drastic change in Jacob's life, and things will never be the same. Jacob had always dreamed of being an explorer thanks to the stories his grandfather told about his childhood. Though the stories sometimes gave Jacob nightmares, he still thought they were amazing. Such an adventure typically included some of the following details. But be warned, some of these details may frighten you. From page 12, the monsters were after him. Awful, hunched over monsters with rotting skin and black eyes. They stink like putrefying trash. They were invisible except for their shadows. A pack of squirming tentacles lurked inside their mouths, and could whip out in an instant and pull you into their powerful jaws. If those details didn't give you chills, then you may remain unscarred after reading this book. If any of you became frightened from the creatures within this story, then now would be a good time to find another book. For those of you who have stayed, let me tell you how our hero's life changed from ordinary to extraordinary. Now, Jacob believed as everyone else that his grandfather was simply paranoid and a tad crazy for thinking his childhood stories were true. But after a single event, Jacob may change his mind. When his grandfather calls Jacob in a panic, he races over to the house only to find his grandfather dying back in the woods, leaving Jacob with puzzling instructions as final words, which said, Find the bird in the loop on the other side of the old man's grave, September 3rd, 1940. Along with this, Jacob caught a glimpse of his grandfather's true murderer, the murderer being one of the creatures from his grandfather's stories. Now these creatures are not your normal run-of-the-mill monsters. These monsters used to be peculiars, but they wanted to be immortal and experimented with their abilities which resulted in a horrible explosion killing hundreds and turning the, these peculiars into hollow gas. Some of them found a way to appear human and are called whites. A white is the evolved form of a hollow gas after it has consumed enough peculiar souls. They work for the hollow gas, aiding in their transformation into whites by hunting down more peculiars for them to feed on. Now Jacob is believed to be crazy and he feels more out of place than ever with no answers about his grandfather's final words. That is, until a letter from his grandfather's past creates the opportunity Jacob has been waiting for. With his father, Jacob travels to the place of his grandfather's stories in hopes of finding answers through the woman who wrote the letter to his grandfather. Jacob finds the home only to discover that the building has been horribly destroyed. What Jacob does find are more disturbing pictures and dusty jars filled with organs and human hearts. After his discoveries, Jacob comes face to face with one of the peculiar children from his grandfather's stories. Or more accurately, he comes face to knife with his peculiar girl. Jacob is taken to the peculiar's home inside a loop. For those of you who haven't fallen into one of the many loops throughout the world, a loop is controlled by a peculiar that can manipulate time and protects other peculiars under their care. The loop repeats a single day over and over again before resetting at the same time, which in this case is right before a missile destroys the home. This protected and beautiful place seems perfect and Jacob finally feels accepted. So now we all know something has to happen. In Jacob's case, people and animals are being killed within the town. Miss Peregrine has been threatened and a horrible vision of world destruction has been prophesied. While looking for answers to the murders and the disappearance of other time manipulators around the world, Jacob and his friends 
end up being trapped by a holocaust and a white, who have been following Jacob for years disguised as different people. Jacob led them right to the home of Miss Peregrine, but before Jacob and his friends can save the headmistress, headmistress and their home, they must first save themselves from the holocaust that is trying to devour them. I won't tell you how close they were to death, or how the hollow gas almost devoured Jacob within a slimy tentacle grabbed his ankle. But I will tell you that they make it back to the home, only to find Miss Peregrine gone and the loop destroyed. Now it's a race to reach Miss Peregrine before the white gets away with her. Jacob and his friends risk their lives against hollow gas, whites, guns, and tidal waves to get Miss Peregrine back. But in the end, it may not matter. A new plan for immortality has begun. And with their home destroyed, Jacob and his friends have no choice but to leave and find more allies to defeat the Holocaust once and for all. If you want to join Jacob on his adventure, read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Ritt.